Hi, my name is Amy Cousins. I'm from South Thomas in Maine, and I'm making this video for the Hay House Write, Speak, and Promote Movers and Shakers. I am a health coach and a stage four cancer survivor. Um, my goal is to help others to heal naturally from the inside out. Um, everyone's journey is unique. Mine just happens to be about breast cancer at age 29. I was diagnosed and it was a shock, as it is to most people, but I really thought that I was healthy. Um, so when I was diagnosed, it was a shock to everyone around me. But what everybody didn't know is that inside, I really felt like I was dying. I, I was really unhappy, I was full of blame, and very angry about some things that had happened in the past. So when I heard the words, you have cancer, I was instantly filled with fear. I didn't know what else to do except for what the doctors told me to. So I went on to have a double mastectomy, radiation, and chemotherapy. None of this resonated with me and not what I thought I would do, what I wanted to live. And I felt like this was the only way I was going to survive. I finished the treatments and I was still left with a hole, a hole of sadness, fear. I didn't know when or if it would come back or how to move forward. A year or so later, it did come back, and this time the doctors labeled me stage four. They had nothing for me and actually went as far to tell me as I would to tell me that I wouldn't make it till middle age. Of course this upset me, but I also took it as an opportunity to learn how to take my own health and healing into my into my hands. It was now my responsibility. I found a naturopathic doctor. I started working on my emotions and my perception of health and healing. I tried many things to boost my immune system. All of it kept me healthy and feeling great, but the cancer still stayed. It wasn't until one night in a meditation that I heard something spectacular. I heard the reasons why I wasn't healing, and I also heard how to heal. First, I was stuck in my brain, hearing all those thoughts of self-doubt. What if this doesn't work? What if I leave my husband? What if I die? What if I never see my friends and family again? What if, what if, what if? All fear-based stuff. Then, after that was over and I realized that I was filled with self-doubt, even though I was doing all these wonderful things to boost my body, I also heard an inner voice, my higher power, whatever we wanna label it, tell me, nothing the doctors can do will hurt you. You have to trust 100% and do it. And if it resonates with you, do it. And trust that whatever you choose is going to work. And so after that meditation, I felt strong. I felt great and I knew that healing was, healing was on its way. I knew that I was put on this earth to have a fabulous life of health and healing and not to die young in my 30s. I also believe that God gave me a choice. It was my choice to learn how to love myself completely, 100% here on earth or I also had the permission to die, go home, and then be filled with that universal love that we all desire. I chose to stay, and I'm very happy that I did. After feeling, feeling this, um, great, this great desire to surrender to something bigger than myself, things started to unfold very quickly. I found myself in Vienna, Austria, working with some doctors who helped rebuild my immune system, who helped um, make a cancer vaccination. I was there for three months, and though these treatments were hard, I still did them, and they, I also kept, so while I did these treatments, I also kept a visualization of walking down the aisle to my fiance, soon to be husband, cancer free. And I would see that vision in the back of my mind every day and know that that was my goal. I came home from Austria after three months 
and I had a scan. On June 2nd, the oncologist told me that the cancer was gone. And on June 27th, I walked down the aisle cancer free. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm here to tell you that there's nothing, of course I'm special, but there's nothing more special about me than there is you. And if I can heal from cancer by changing my perception of health and healing, letting go of fear, then you can too. My cousin said to me the other day, Amy, you're a walking miracle. I don't think I could do this. I don't think I could do it. And I said, and that had me thinking that yes, it may appear to be a miracle, but in my heart, I don't think it is. I think every person is capable of health and healing. And it's our God-given right to live in our heavenly nature filled with this universal, unconditional love right here on earth. So here I am, alive and thankful and grateful for every moment that I have. And I'm also very happy that I get to share my health and healing with you in hopes that you realize that miracles don't just happen to special people. They can happen to all of us. And you can heal. Just look for one person who has healed before you. Look up to them. Keep your vision alive. And know that you are here to live a fabulous, marvelous life. Thank you.